Did you know, when considering infection prevention and control, gloves aren't always necessary? This is the story of two dedicated nurses who work hard to provide safe vaccinations for their patients. Nurse Lee works in a calm, well-equipped clinic, taking time with each patient. Lee understands that gloves should only be worn when needed and hand hygiene is essential. Nurse Jamie works in a similar setting, yet always feels they rush from one patient to the next. Jamie often relies on wearing gloves for clinical tasks. After welcoming their patients, Lee cleans their hands. Jamie puts on a pair of gloves. But wait, use of gloves does not mean hands are fully protected. And hand hygiene is still required. It's time for vaccinations. After vaccinating, Lee cleans their hands again. Jamie removes and discards their gloves. Later, the infection prevention control professional visits the team to discuss hand hygiene and injection practice. They remind the nurses injections don't usually involve exposure to blood or body fluids, so medical gloves aren't routinely required. But what is always required? Hand hygiene. The infection prevention and control professional asked them about the WHO5 moments for hand hygiene, including before and after touching a patient. They explain medical gloves are used for two main reasons. One, to minimise the risk of contaminating health workers' hands with blood and body fluids. Two, to reduce the risk of spreading germs. And remember, gloves do not provide complete protection. Gloves do not replace the need to perform hand hygiene. The nurses both go back to their work duties. They know what to do to keep themselves and their patients safe. They clean their hands, because it might be gloves, but it's always hand hygiene. And excessive medical glove use can also impact the environment. Save lives and the environment. Clean your hands.